Erica, Rochester has a long history of research in neurological and other diseases and in bringing, developing drugs to treat those diseases. Could you tell us something about that history? Well, really, the history of developments in neurology and neuroscience have been squarely focused on trying to bring forward new therapies to improve care for neurological disorders. Our Clinical Trials Coordination Center has supported key trials that led to the approval of seven different drugs for neurological conditions. My understanding is that your own research has to do with uh, the rarer diseases. The work that I do is in a group of disorders called NCLs, or Batten diseases, and these are rare disorders that affect children and have symptoms that are dementia, like you might see in Alzheimer's, problems with movement, like you might see in Parkinson's disease, along with epilepsy and blindness. So they're really complex, devastating disorders. There's been an enormous amount of progress in recent years in treating neurological diseases, and I think all the evidence is there's a lot more progress uh, coming along. Well, I think there's a lot of hope and a lot of promise for um, genetic or for gene-based therapies. And some of these therapies really directly apply to what we traditionally consider as genetic disorders. There are other kinds of applications for using gene therapy as a tool for drug delivery. It's going to change the way we practice and the way we think about diagnosis. Can you say a little more about how it's going to change how you practice? Absolutely. You know, neurology is one of the areas of medicine where it's been most difficult to develop new treatments. Early diagnosis, especially for progressive diseases, is likely to be very important for thinking about some of these therapies that have the potential to slow down disease, to maybe even halt disease in its tracks. Can you tell us something about the role that the Center for Health or and technology or CHET plays in the work here at the Med Center? We have great advances happening from bench to bedside and beyond. And the Center for Health and Technology is really trying to press ahead and thinking about how we conduct research and how we gain insights into accelerating therapeutics faster, better, smarter. There's also an innovation arm of CHET. And that is really where we're thinking about these new ideas of how we reach people where they are, in their homes, in their communities, and learn about neurological disorders and other kinds of diseases in, in more detailed ways and in more meaningful ways. This is an example of a wearable sensor. Look how small it is. The whole processing unit is right there held within this small device. I know in the case of Parkinson's, there's, a, there's an app that, that uh, is used uh, to track uh, uh, patients' progress. Some of the new technologies that we see, like the Empower app, um, which uh, Ray Dorsey and others contributed to the development of this particular Apple app, allows people to track their own disease to provide information that allows us to quantify symptoms in a much more precise and detailed way. Do you make use of uh, data science and some of the work in that area? Does that connect to what, what you're doing? They go hand in hand. So this is a new type, new volume of information that we've really not had before. We're bringing together data science and bioinformatics along with new technologies, great clinical neurology knowledge to advance how we think about these disorders, how we develop new clinical insights into Parkinson's disease, and we'll really provide a model for how we think about that for many other disorders. So the Udall Center for Excellence is a new designation uh, for, for uh, the medical center. How did that come about? I think the long history of fantastic work and research in Parkinson's disease that goes back decades really formed the foundation of being able to receive this recognition. Ray Dorsey will be leading that effort through the Center for Health and Technology and all of that innovation that I was talking about, thinking about new ways to create multidisciplinary team science approaches to solving the major dilemmas of Parkinson's disease today. There are eight centers with this kind of designation nation across the nation. So this is a real accomplishment for the Center for Health and Technology, for neurology and neuroscience, and for the university.